Grand Golf Club in San Diego with Sean Cox. Hey, Sean. Nice How's it to going? You. Nice to see you. Sean is a, a PGA pro and a guy that I met down at a golf event in San Diego. What, were, what was that? Was at, at Goat the Hill. Go yeah. The Goat Hill. It was where the uh, Xander gold medalist, Xander Shoffley, yep. and uh, Charlie Hoffman, Jeff Ogilvie, and I think Mike Weir might have been the fourth. And it yeah. was uh, mm -hmm. raise money for junior golf. Yeah. So I saw him and we started talking and he said, he said I've got to show you my app. And this was about three and a half years, maybe three years ago. Yep. Yeah, I got to show you my app I'm working on. The app is out finally. And I've been using it for the last month and a half or so. And I really like it. And it really kind of comes down to the issue of a lot of people complain, Sean, that um, like, man, I hit it so good on, on, on the range but then I don't carry it over to the course. Do you think it's the problem of how they're playing on the course or is it the problem of how they're practicing on the range? It's, it's basically, you need to combine. You gotta do some block practice. Put down alignment rod, work on your swing. But at some point you have to turn that off and you have to go and practice to targets okay. like you would on the golf course. The mm -hmm. problem is, is when you don't practice to targets and somebody say, well, I've got my seven iron, I'm gonna hit to that target for 20 straight shots. Well, the problem with that is after the first or second shot, your brain basically turns off because now you're not going through the process of evaluating the wind or the lie or the, you know, what shape of shot I'm going to hit. And yeah, you, your level of engagement after you've hit to that target once or twice is just like, goes down. And then here's the other part. Now you get used to hitting it pretty good because you're seven iron multiple times. You can kind of get in a groove. Then you get to the golf course. And the seven iron doesn't go just as good as it did on the driving range and now you panic. Now you're out on the golf course going, oh my gosh, now yep. I gotta fix this or this. Well, if I only give you one shot at that seven iron and then we turn around on the next shot and you gotta hit a different club to a different target, you're gonna have to get over that bad shot. Mm -hmm. And now you're gonna have to refocus on the next shot. Mm -hmm. And that's something that people don't do. They don't, they don't change clubs. It's not only changing the target, it's changing the club. As you know, every club in our bag is a different length. Yeah. Just adjusting to the length of the clubs is, you know, makes your brain work. It just all depends on how much time you have. Yeah. I mean, if you only got 20 minutes mm -hmm. to go tee off, it might be 80% random because you're going to go play golf. Why not just get the system ready? You yeah. know, yeah. It, you know, if it's a two hour practice session, then I would probably break it up where you, obviously we have to practice our short game as well, but you know, I'd probably do 25, 30 minutes and then go do random for 25 or 30 minutes right. and then come back and do it again. And, and you know, what do the best players in the world do? After they finish a round, if something wasn't right, where do they go? To, to the, the bar range. or to the yeah. range? To the range. Yeah. To the range. So what if you did it, broke it up and you did blocked, then you did some random, and then what you learned by doing random, you went and worked on it for 25 minutes, and you worked work blocked again yeah. to try to fix something, and then try random again. Yeah. That's kind of like what a pro would do by going out and playing in a tournament and then coming back to the range. So tell us about your app. So your app not only will put out random numbers, you know, random number generator kind of thing, but, but it will give you a, like a visual of yes. what to do. So tell us so, what it does. So, couple things happened. Number one, I was fortunate that I'm very close with Greg Rose and Dave Phillips. And, and I was up with TPI and I got to meet a guy named Dick Schmidt. Dick okay. Schmidt has since passed away, but he's a, he was at UCLA. He's a world renowned leader in motor learning. So he's done studies on blocked versus random and how does it transfer to a sporting event, to golf, to all these different events. So there's science behind this. Okay. That was factor number one. Second factor was, you know, nobody's practicing it you know, correctly. Nobody's going through their bag. I've seen that through 25 years of giving lessons. But the last one, which was key, is I heard this story that Roy McIlroy's caddy was basically using a randomizer and he would say 155 back right pin. So, oh, yeah. so Rory had to visualize a back right pin. Well, I'm like, I can make an app with pictures of golf holes where it's obvious where you need to aim because of where the trouble is in the app yeah. or in the picture. Yeah. And so, I'm like, let's do it. Now, the last piece, which I think makes this different than just going on and trying to download some free randomizer, is it puts your driver in there every like three to five shots. And then yeah. it actually has what's called a narrow tee shot. Well, randomizer isn't gonna pop a driver in. And so you, you, it's real simulated, real golf. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. so you know, we've got three modes. One's called random golf. 
and it kind of sets the max at your three wood distance and the minimum at 50 and mm -hmm. it goes through. That one is really good if you have a launch monitor because if it says 176 yards, you know, you can look at your launch monitor and you can see whether or not you hit 176 yards and yep. then you can rate the shot. Mm -hmm. The other one is select your range. Let's say your coach says, let's work on 50 to 100. You can just get random pictures from 50 to 100. But the most brilliant part is anybody, no launch monitor, is called today's targets. And what you do is you take your range finder and you shoot the targets on your driving range. You could be at a range that has, you know, 10 targets. You could be at a range that only has three or four. You put those actual yardages into the app and now you can use those poles or those flags as an actual target, but then you're using our visual in the picture to decide, do I need to be left? Do I need to be short, if yeah. anything? Do I need to be long, you're if anything? An actual golf shot, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then it's gonna throw in your driver again into yeah. the formula. Yeah. So now, let's do it. I think the best way to show it is to do it. Yeah. So I put in the seven targets. We got 82, 123, 150, 184, 179, 215, 138. And we're gonna use our library you can also choose to input your own photos. Yes. So you could have your own library of holes and use your library or you can use ours. So first target is 138, which is that green flag over there. Okay. Now look at the visual, okay? Yeah. Torrey Pines. Yeah, I saw this. Number three, mm -hmm. pins on the left. That's, that's trouble over there. That's penalty yeah. strokes. You cannot go left. Okay, so where do you want to be? Mm -hmm. Well, be a good caddy for me. Don't tell okay. me where, where the bad shot is. Tell, tell me where the good shot is. <laughs> so you want to be right of this flag. Okay, yeah. So we're going green. Yeah, green flag, flag. over here, mm -hmm. which is kind of similar to what's actually appearing on the range there. Yeah, it's pretty close. I just have to imagine that there's a, that little sliver on the left. Yep. Lots of room on the right. A little bunker there like there is. Okay, and then try to do my routine here. Because how many times do you see somebody do their full pre-shot routine when they're on the range? Uh, never. Never, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's going a little left. Is it going to stay on the green? I think I'd be on the fringe kicking into the rough. Okay. Based off of that picture. Okay. I, I hit the exact distance I wanted to hit, but it was a little left. Okay. Yeah. So. Probably chipping probably chipping so now what's cool about it is you can turn this on or off mm -hmm. but you can rate your shot from one to five stars mm -hmm. so what would you give that shot how many stars you know if I was just on the range I would give it like a four because the impact was good the distance is good but for that shot I give it two. okay so yeah. now I hit two stars that's being recorded into his journal so now for the week, for the month, for the year, he can go and see distance wise, how does he rate star wise, depending on the, the distance of the shots. Oh, okay. And yeah. so now you can show your coach or yourself like I'm and say, trouble in this range. Yeah, yeah, 100 to 150, I'm averaging three stars, but 150 to 200, I'm averaging four stars. So I need to work on that particular range okay. of shots. So the next target we have is 123. Yeah, let's see the picture here. Okay. Okay, also another downhill one, 123, which is which color? It's the blue one right there. Let me see. Downhill, green to work with. So I'm going to fly in, even though it's downhill, I'm going to try to fly it in a little low. It's a, in a back pin, 123. Yep. Yeah, I'm just going to use the same club. And this will be fine here. So I'm going to fly it in a little low, and I'm going to do this. I've been recently thinking about that one shot Phil hit on the back nine at the PGA Championship, the low pitching wedge that drew. Oh, that's so nice. that's kind of what I'm going to try to do here. Okay, there. Okay, great okay. shot. Yeah. Now, it's probably... 25 feet from the pin, but it's in the right spot. Because if you look at the picture again, you yeah. didn't really want to be left. Uh -huh. you're, you're about 25 feet, you're pin high, mm -hmm. and you've got a birdie putt. Yeah. Definitely walking away, not making bogey here. You're right. So I so, give it four stars for that situation. Okay. I'm not. Beautiful. Okay, so now we have 179. And so 179 is the blue flag okay. on the right. Uh huh. Now. Let's see the picture. 
Okay, so same thing. This is great for me because I, I always fear going left. So I cannot go left here. I mean, it's not the end of the world. There's a little, there's more room than there was on the Torrey yep. Pines one. Yep. But actually short right would be really good. So I'm going to aim, there's a ball there, short right, that I'm going to okay. cap. Ah, I did, I pulled it. I mean, it's, it's actually on, on for there because there was, I could possibly have kicked down to the right yeah. and been okay. So I give it a three stars. Okay. Okay, so now we're on to, we have another target here? Yeah. Okay, 184? Yep. So now... Which here, is, which flag? It's the yellow flag out there, but here's the nice part. Now you can miss a little left if you want to. Yeah, I can. <laughs> it's you which, can one, left, it's which one? The, the big, tall yellow. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Where, what course is that? Is that Torrey Pines as well? That is up in, uh, that's up in the Monterey Peninsula. Okay, gotcha. I had a clanker. Uh, that's a one. Okay. Yeah, that's really. Let me see the picture again before you go to the next one. Yeah. I just want to see where I would be. I'm <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so now, here's here's the here's the great part. Mm -hmm. You got to recover from that. You know, you don't get to hit like right. ten more to figure okay. it out. Because if you're on the golf course, you yeah. know, you, you got to play it, right? Yeah, it's part of the so, the acceptance and the post shot routine. Yeah. Huh? So n now we have 150, which is the red flag. Okay. We've got a little island green, where pins right here on the right. Okay. So you can't be short. So you got to get at 150, but you probably need to be a little left of the flag. Oh, one, see, I had nine iron, but it's a 150 kind of minimum. Yeah. Isn't it? All right, 150 to the red flag. Yep. A little left, left is, is okay, but it's just got to be pin high. Yes. Oh, there's a golf shot finally, if it sits. Oh, it's great. All right, there's a five star. You'll give me five stars on that one, Sean? I will. All right, good. Okay, let's do two more. Okay. So well, now, I at least get to a driver. Oh, yeah, we, we got did. a driver. Cool. Yep. So, to, you know, you can visualize on here if you can cut that corner, mm -hmm. so to speak, but yeah. it sure looks like a fade shot to me. Yeah, it does. Okay. okay. All right, so I'm trying to hit a fade. It's We're way uphill, so it's going to be like mid-flighted. So pick out something and say, like, see the black post down there? Not yet. That, post. Yeah, that'd be like your left rough, you know, uh -huh. yeah. And, yeah. and then now you have something to go off of to visualize and, and that. this tree would be like just to the right of the, yep. of the red flag. Okay. Yeah. And then do a little rehearsal to match my visual, a feel to match the visual. Keep cutting. It's trying to cut. You're long. Oh, I hit it to your guys there. Almost. Yeah, yeah. That was a great. So, so I would be in that corner there. So yeah. I would have extended the hole, made it longer, but it would have been in, in an okay spot. Yep. Just not great. And so I give that a three. Okay. Perfect. That's cool. Let's do yeah. one more because this is this is so, so two fifteen because I, I like two fifteen is the red one in the distance. Okay. And so you know. Looks to me, you could miss a little short and right. Mm -hmm. uh, it definitely could be long left too because of the shape of the green. Yeah. So, so yeah. your shot shape kind of works. I would probably, you know, play your little draw. Yep. You know, aim a couple yards right of it and play your little draw. And this is like a par three, so I'll yep. it up a little bit. The cool part is the pictures in the app are all different styles of golf course. You know, you had trees on one hole. This <laughs> yeah. is more desert style. Boy, that's good. See the ball. That... Beautiful. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. There's a four. There you go. Cool. You know, I can tell just like, because I, I have been using it, but, you know, obviously from doing the channel and everything, I get a lot of golf thoughts. But it helps me kind of like Hogan would say, like separate like the stuff that's good on the range, 
is different than the stuff that's good on the course and the stuff that's good on the course is also different than the stuff that's good under pressure in a tournament or something like that right so it gets you to start separating like i can tell like for me like there's certain feelings that i like on the range that don't really work very well when i get on the course right like, for yeah, me like, like this little, little pulling feeling it's like now i need to really get moving if i start start freezing that's when when the pull happens right so that's really i think where some deep learning can happen with the app so it's cool yeah and you you know you, you got your different clubs on every shot mm -hmm. you know you and then you know the whole star concept you can turn that off or on but yeah. it, it's it's consequence can we, see, can we see a recap of the stars that i did so far or? yeah so oh, it's going to mix in with all, all of your practice. Huh? Yeah, because oh, this okay. one's my phone. But see the statistics. Then it shows you where oh, you cool. where you are at the different distances for the month, for the year, and then also in so, the uh, in the journal you yeah. can actually put in your notes on uh, your swing. Yeah, so cool. we we have a journal. Oh, so like that thing I just said, like I got to keep moving. That'd be one thing that I would write. Yeah, yeah. 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 You put the notes in there. What'd you learn today? Mm -hmm. And then here you can create a shot. So I can go here and I can choose from my library and I can start putting in shots from my library into there. These are some that I had put in. And you tell it like, what is the yardage of this shot? Yeah, is it a close shot, a drive, an arrow tee shot, yeah. a long? And so three modes, random golf, today's target, select your range. Cool. And you know, it's just everybody in our industry has always talked about getting our students to practice to targets. Yeah, practice like you play. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're not doing a great job as instructors. You know, we're, we're doing a great job of teaching people how to swing the club. You know, and I know there's places like in Florida where they've got a range set up with all these different targets and you go to stations and you, you practice like you're, it's like more game-like. Yeah. But I played athletics all my life. The one thing that golf kind of, you know, basically a practice round is like a scrimmage yeah. but see in football you'd scrimmage then you'd be able to tell who the all-stars are and who were going to play well in the games and then the coach knew how to who to start at quarterback or yeah. who to start at running back or wherever basketball the same thing we go play you know we go play five on five at the local gym and we play basketball and we can tell who the great player is mm -hmm. golf we have a hard time telling when somebody just keeps hitting the same club over and over. Yeah. How are they how are they going to perform on the golf course? Yeah. Well, now you as a coach, you as a teacher, you can put your kids or your adult students through this and then you can get a better idea. Like I learned a lot about you, what your misses were here, mm -hmm. what you may need to work on. And now yep. as your coach, I could help you figure out why that ball is going left because under pressure, you might have had a tendency to go left. Mm -hmm. If I yeah. would just see you hitting the same club over and over, you're in a groove, I may yeah. not learn that. Yep. You know. So it uh, so tell us how how can people get to it? You just go to the app store and you put in random golf practice yep. and you download it. Mm -hmm. It's free for the first month and then after that it's a it's a yearly fee of thirty dollars. Right. So basically, I mean <laughs> your handicap going down is that worth thirty dollars of yeah. course it is the two <laughs> all right thanks for watching everybody you guys uh and if people want to talk to you or contact you about working together how, how can they get in contact with sean just uh, email me at sean cox pga at gmail.com great and they can get a hold of me we're going to do some other videos with sean he's got a pretty cool setup up here where he gets people a lot more athletic before they start hitting golf balls to make them better so you're going to want to see that so click the subscribe button see you later